G'day folks, here's a bit of a look at our current aquaponics system. You're currently looking at a bit of the original build video, links down below. We're going to give you a look at what it looks like now, just before I turn it into an organic hydroponic system. How's it going folks? Just a nip switch of the old aquaponic system. It's got some spearmint, some green onions, lemongrass, lettuce, warrigal greens growing with a slight magnesium deficiency. But there hasn't been any fish in this for a while. The water's not actually flowing at the moment. And that's because the pump died over the last week or so. My daughter's been working seven days a week and she said she hadn't noticed it. She was running last weekend. So I'm replacing it with this little jobby here, which was the pump that used to pump out the radial flow settler. So yeah, just so I give you a bit of a, a look at it, even though there's no fish, there's a, enough nutrients in there and the little bit of fish emulsion I put in every couple of months to keep everything growing with obvious um, yeah, deficiencies included. So this system will be coming down soon and heading up to Childers, unless I sell off the radial flow and bio. Hit me up if you're interested. So changing this into an hydroponic system from an aquaponic system is really easy, folks. The first thing I did was disconnect the hose running into the fish tank and salvage the, a little section of it that will be turned into the pump connection line. So I just cut a little section off of that, enough to reach from the top of the pump to the fitting at the top of the sump tank. Then I grabbed a 25 millimeter or one inch barbed tap fitting and push that easily into the line. Anyone who's used this knows that I'm fibbing. It's a bit of a job, but you can get it in there. The next job was to disconnect the existing hose work, steal a washer from that for the new line, and then screw in the new pump. That's one of the benefits of these little barbed threaded fittings. You can just e easily disconnect pumps, which rarely have the same fittings on them, and then add in a new one as need be. And it makes it really easy to add these little pumps to things like your radial flow settler, just so you can clean out the solids from the base without having to empty all the water from the barrel on one hit to do so. Back to the hydro system, once the pump was in place, just a matter of turning it on and checking the flow rates into the grow beds. More than happy with the flow rates into both. I don't think there's really a maximum or minimum flow required for this sort of organic hydroponic setup. So folks, I've fixed up the um, hydroponic system, no longer an aquaponic system, no longer has uh, much water in there. I bled a lot of it into the sump tank, about 600 litres, and the rest is just going down to feed the mango down the back there and the other spices and bits and pieces are, are living underneath it. They still need to be moved. And yeah, so all I need to do now is just sort out Kira with some nutrients for this. I'm fairly sure there's still some fish emulsion under the house. I know there's some rob water, but I don't know how comfortable she is using that. There must have been a fair amount of water left in the bed because they're overflowing now. So out come the bell siphons. I'll leave them out for a while. Uh, one thing I did find is some rob water <laughs> left over. So I'm going to just pour this in the um, inlets of the beds here. So yeah, they've got some nutrients and I'll suggest that Kira pick up some other bits and pieces. I think there might even be some um, Charlie carp under the house. But yeah, the plants are doing absolutely gangbusters really considering, especially this bed here. We've got the lettuce, the um, lemongrass, the spearmint is just looking gorgeous. Uh, Kira's used a little bit of that, not a lot. She's been more harvesting the um, green onions. You can see she's chopped them and they're coming again. Um, some of the older ones she's just left though, I think because of their flowers on them. Um, yeah, and definitely won't be um, doing anything with these tomatoes. They can just die off now, I think. And these pouches, I was contemplating taking them up, but they're still a little bit wet. I might leave them until next time anyway, just because we don't have anywhere secluded to put them in the back of the truck. Um, I might wait until we do a proper plant run. Um, well, the black, actually, the black turmeric can come because it's just a rhizome. So I'll take it out now so it can dry off a little bit overnight. And the, um, the ball caps, it can, it can wait. There's a little fruit on there already. And this one here, I forget what was in here, but it's dead anyway. So we'll just pull him out. And we will um, dose up with some rob water. You don't mind me dosing up with rob water, Kira? Do you mind me dosing up with rob water? 
go for it. Yeah, she's not squeamish. It's been in the bottle for, um, oh, geez, it would have to be well over two years now. So, or at least, oh, well over 18 months at least. Whoops, anyway. So I might get some water in there and give it a quick swish. Yeah, definitely not for the faint-hearted. Um, but yeah, the plants are going to love it. There's no bacteria or anything in there, mucky, that's going to cause Kira any harm. But yeah, that's pretty much all it for the aquaponic system for now. I do need to come down um, later and, yeah, obviously pull it to pieces and take it up because we won't be keeping this place forever. But that's pretty much all it. I do hope you've enjoyed this little bit of a look at the uh, organic hydroponics. So there you go, folks. That's how easy it is to turn an existing aquaponic system into a hydroponic system or an organic hydroponic system at the moment. I'm actually heading back down soon and Kira and I are going to have a serious discussion about whether we keep running the system or whether I just set up a small little um, hydroponic system for her, just for her small amounts of veggies that she needs. No one else in the house really eats much veggies. Now if you've got a hydroponic system, you can turn it into an aquaponic system, but I wouldn't go uh, like a bull at a gate and just put on a fish tank, wax some fish in and you know, hope everything will be fine. I would definitely add the fish tank in Add whatever sump if you're going to use a larger sump and sort out your design and all that sort of thing. I think it would probably be a good idea to give the system a really good flush through. Make sure you have enough biofiltration, meaning media in the grow beds, so the bacteria colony can colonize it and then be able to process the ammonia that the fish produce. And then run the system for a while and make sure you have an existing nitri nitrogen cycle within the system. That's basically oxidizing bacteria that turn the ammonia into nitrite, then another mob of oxidizing bacteria bacteria that turn the nitrite into nitrate which is fish friendly uh, both ammonia uh, urea and nitrate are available to plants um, but um, they can be rather toxic to fish so that's why I want it converted into nitrate so some hydroponic systems by default may already be cycled meaning they have a nitrogen cycle in place uh, just because of the presence of either urea or ammonia in there to begin with and then the local bacteria would set up shop on the media but yeah it would pay for you to get a decent test kit uh, that you can test for ammonia nitrite and nitrate and then you can give it a bit of a test get some basic uh, ammonia something that doesn't have any detergent or um, scents in it or maybe your own urine pop some of that in there or charlie carp pop some of that in there uh, wait a couple of days do your uh, freshwater test for the ammonia and the nitrite and as long as those levels are zero on the nitrite and close to trace on the ammonia you should be right to add your fish in it is one of those things you need to look after your fish and not only because they're living things but they're also going to be what's providing or processing the fish feed into plant food for your system so there you go i do hope you've been enjoyed this little bit of a, a quick look at turning an aquaponic system into a hydroponic system and yeah I think it took me all of 10 or 15 minutes but it is really easy to do but I will pretty much will leave it there um, if you are interested in more aquaponic content there is more aquaponic content coming to the channel later on there is also our backyard aquaponics for beginners guide 1995 US there will be a link and a discount code down below there's two or three uses of that code left if you want 25% off or five bob off the the, um, guide we also have a shop we also have some awesome supporters on the farm your own yard site and also here on youtube their names are now scrolling up the screen there they're helping to support the channel thank you very much folks and i will leave it there edit this and then get cracking on the pig pen or turning it into a chook pen hope you're having a top weekend folks cheers all